オールマイティは未来を改変する力だまだ全然使いこなせちゃいねえけどなはい、guys, so we've had a lot of super hype news in the game. We've had the Banca l a s h i n yesterday, and they've announced two new units, Biakuya and Ichigo,、uh, fifth anniversary versions. Today, we've had the leaks of the gameplays for these two units, and as you may know, there are going to be a lot of new players joining the game at this time of the year. There's also the new Asian server that just dropped. And for that reason, some of you may not know, but we are going to be getting a second round for anniversary. And this round is going to drop on the 31st of July. We won't have any news about it until just a couple days before it. So the thing is, you may assume that this is it. We're getting those two units. That's the anniversary, and that's a wrap. Nope, that's not the case. We're going to be getting a second round that is just as hype, if not even more hype. And this is actually what is. Uh, what I find is a little bit worrying because if this has been round one, what on earth does k l a b have in store for us with round two? And that gets me really worried because they need to have, they, they, they can't just like have this round one, which is great, and then have something really bad for round two and not having anyone summoning on it. So you can be sure that k l a b has something. Super hype for round two in store, and we're gonna be getting it at the end of the month. So, if you are planning on dropping all your orbs now, well, nope, do save some because you will have a couple days to make a decision at the end of this round to see whether you wanna go all in or if you wanna save some orbs for round two. As soon as we get the announcement. And speaking of which, do join us on Discord to be sure to not miss on any news about、uh, about the game, any leaks, any data mine, anything. But yeah, back to the video. So, yes, you've seen the thumbnail. Thumbnail is about two banners,、uh, two banner fan arts. So, these are not real banners. This is just to illustrate the fact that this is what we will be getting in a close future. And the reason for that is, for the reasoning is, k l a b has been going from,、uh, they've been alternating Thousand Blood War banners and Council of Lone Wolf banners, and they were just going between one and the other. This, is how, this was their planning for exclusive banners. And the last exclusive banner we got was Count Your Own Well. So chances are this end of month, the、uh, second round of anniversary is going to be a Thousand Blood War round. And well, k l a b has introduced Stone Returns to the game not long ago. That was a、uh, well, the previous round of Thousand Blood War units. And what better way to just entertain the hype than having another round of Stone Returns unit dropping into the game? So, if that's the case, it would be very likely that this is a second round of anniversary that we're going to be getting in the game. So, brace yourselves, guys. And yeah, the,、uh, the image in the thumbnail is just an illustration of what this could be. The art, the, the character art is all credits to、um, Alessandro Bueno on Discord. His、uh, fan arts are all on there in the、uh, fan art channel and they're absolutely amazing. So, credits to him for this.、Um, about,、uh, there, was, there were conversations also about the fact that Burn the Wish collaboration is going to be dropping into the game and we're going to be getting some characters. Yes, this has been announced in March 2020 during s h o n e n Jump's live stream. But the thing is, What has been announced is between March and the end of September 2020, we will be getting the serialization of the Burn the Witch novel. And then, sometime between,、uh, that, between March and the end of the、uh, year 2020, we will be getting the anime adaptation as well. So, no clear date has been announced, but you can be sure that from a marketing standpoint, It does make a lot of sense for k l a b to drop the collaboration Burn the Witch banner.、Uh, well, when the, sometime around the announcement of the release of the anime adaptation. Because obviously, there's going to be a lot of buzz, there's going to be a lot of traction, people are going to be watching on TV, and they're going to be like, you know what, I do want to play with those characters. Well, conveniently, this game, Bleach b a s e l s does have this banner. Let's just join it. So, from a marketing standpoint, it just does make so much sense for k l a b to drop the Burn the Witch collaboration sometime around the,、uh, sometime close to the announcement of the anime serialization.、Uh, sorry, so the anime adaptation and the release date of it. And another thing is, you know how k l a b likes to drop a lot of exclusive banners at us lately and very little 
premium banners. Well, this is what happened last year. So we've had round one anniversary, Fulolo Ichigo and Mugetsu. Then round two anniversary, Thousand and Bubble round five with Aizen, Yamamoto and Soifan. And then we thought, you know, let's just like take some time, breathe a little bit. There's a rerun of swimsuit characters at the end of the month. That's great. And then boom, out of nowhere, they dropped a bombshell on us, another Coffee on World banner, an exclusive banner. And then after this, it was just like exclusive, seasonal, exclusive, seasonal, boom, 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 and no time to rest. And well, this year it is very likely that they're not gonna, um, they're not gonna reduce the pace. It's just gonna be the same, if not worse. Meaning that at the end of uh, August, end of month August, we are probably going to be getting, I think, I don't remember if it was end of month August or mid month August, where we would be getting another exclusive banner. And in this case, well, there's only two options left for Confirm World banners. There's four or five characters, uh, sorry, five or six characters that have not been uh, introduced in banners. There's Ikone version two. There's Tsukishima, there's Ginjo, and then there's also uh, Aura, and there's Shuhei as well. So that's five characters. I don't know how they're going to manage this. There's potentially another one as well, but I'm, I'm forgetting it right now, so I don't really remember. But there's basically five characters that are yet to be introduced as a Confirm World uh, version. So this is going to be dropping to the game, and after this, I hope, well, you also know that there's probably going to be the full... Bengal live stream because they do one in uh, during fall as well, and this is probably when they will be announced. They will be announcing the uh, anime adaptation for Burn the Witch and potentially the uh, collaboration banner with Burn the Witch characters uh, joining Bleach Play Souls. But apart from this, I also hope that there either there's a bunch of characters in Burn the Witch to introduce so they can do this over a few banners. But if it's not the case, and if it's just like this one collaboration banner just for the, the big announcement, well, chances are we may be getting um, some news about a potential collaboration for um, Spirits of Forever with you, which is another uh, like another chance for us to get some really cool characters. There's this, and then there's potentially, you know, something that's been, a rumor that's been running around that Caleb might be considering something which is a little bit like um, Beyond Resurrection, but this time it's going to be like Beyond Bankai, and it's going to be a lot of uh, characters that have achieved Bankai, and potentially what this Bankai can be uh, can look like uh, in a uh, in an original way, a bit like what they've done with Biakuya, a bit like the original design with um, with all the uh, Beyond Resurrection characters basically, and they could do this and have a series of captains that would be coming back with original uh, updated version more broken of their bank eyes so that could be very 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 interesting as well so honestly the future looks very promising one thing i do feel a bit sad about is that they haven't given us some news about new content and that's actually the first time in so long that caleb hasn't done this in a live stream so last live stream last year at the same time they announced uh, transcendence and they announced the guild quest revamp Boom, that was a big announcement, some new stuff for the game. The year before, they announced the resurrection uh, mechanic, and they also announced the, uh, what's it called? So they announced resurrection, and they announced Chronicle Quest. Well, they sold it in a way that made it really interesting, but in fact, it's really bad. So this is it. So like last, the year before, they also had something. The year before, they had something. And then first anniversary, they also announced, I think it was like six star characters. They announced it during, that, during the anniversary. Basically, every year, they had some real content announcement for the game. This year, boom, nothing. You're going to be getting um, Chronicle Quest 3. Well, I, I know, okay, now it's been long overdue, so about time. And that's one thing. And the second thing is... We are also getting the PvP, not revamp, they use the word um, rebalance. And this is a critical choice for it because last year when they announced the Guild Quest, they used the word revamp and it was a complete revamp. This year they said a um, rebalance. So you can expect something about the soul bombs dropping a little bit less often or something like that, but it's not going to be a drastic change to PvP. So kind of a bit sad. Anyway, that was not the topic of the video. It was just about... Um, covering what the future might hold for Bleach Face Souls, the fact that you need to save some orbs, and the fact that if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, don't forget to do so. Do drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! 
Salut les amis et bienvenue dans la version française de cette vidéo. Alors ce que je disais euh, bah, juste avant dans la version anglaise, c'est que grosso modo pour les nouveaux joueurs qui arrivent dans le jeu et aussi comme rappel pour les joueurs actuels et anciens joueurs, il va y avoir un second round de, euh, pour l'anniversaire. C'est-à-dire que là on a la première célébration qui s'étale du 23 juillet jusqu'au 30 juillet et ensuite du 31 au 6 nous aurons le second round. Et... Euh, de par, de par les expériences passées, de par euh, ce qu'il s'est produit euh, l'année dernière, on a souvent, enfin, on a cette habitude d'avoir à chaque fois un second round qui est tout aussi euh, hypant, voire plus que le premier round. On se souvient notamment de l'année dernière avec l'anniversaire qui nous a offert deux, deux personnages, euh, Fulolo, euh, Ichigo et Mugetsu. Et en round 2, on a eu le Aizen TYBW, la Soifone et le Yamamoto TYBW. Et euh, on sait aussi que Kelab a tendance à alterner les personnages du roman avec les personnages de la Guerre Sanglante des Milan et donc faire une alternance des bannières. Et il se trouve que la dernière bannière exclusive que l'on a eue dans le jeu était une bannière personnage du roman. Et donc, il se pourrait, il y aurait de fortes chances que le second round soit une bannière TYW et la rumeur court, enfin le bruit court dans la communauté que cela pourrait être une bannière avec des personnages Sternritter. Alors, bien évidemment, ce n'est pas confirmé, mais il y a quand même de très fortes chances que ce soit ce que l'on ait pour le second round. Et c'est pour ça que j'ai fait ce design de bannière de portail pour illustrer un peu cela. Pour, bah pour X-Fall, le propos de la vidéo, tout simplement. Ça ne veut pas dire qu'on aura ce portail en particulier, mais cela veut dire que voilà, c'est ce que je. Euh, c'est ce que je. je quelque part, j'aimerais, mais que aussi j'entrevois, je suppose, pour euh, le second round de l'anniversaire. D'autre part, il y a aussi du bruit qui court à propos bah, de, euh, de la collaboration avec Burn the Witch, et on sait que Burn the Witch, c'est. Euh, bah, c'est un. Euh, c'est une, une seconde histoire en fait pour Bleach qui se passe dans un autre lieu du Serete. Euh, voilà, donc c'est d'autres quartiers, c'est le quartier euh, ouest par rapport au quartier euh, sud ou je sais pas quoi. En gros, ça, le, le, la zone s'appelle Rivers London et grosso modo, lors du Banca Live Stream de mars cette année, mars 2020, qu'elle avait annoncé euh, que, enfin je sais plus si c'était Kelab ou c'était... Euh, Shonen Jump, je pense que c'était Shonen Jump qui avait fait l'annonce, que euh, bah, cela ferait l'objet d'une adaptation euh, en, sous forme de série dans le courant euh, de l'année et ça sortirait avant la, le mois d'octobre 2020. Parce que euh, c'était affiché comme ça en fait sur l'écran. Alors bien évidemment avec le contexte actuel euh, que l'on connaît, cela pourrait se retrouver quelque peu euh, retardé, mais quand quelque chose est annoncé comme ça pour euh, octobre, avec une date, enfin, quand quelque chose est annoncé comme ça pour cette année et tout, ça veut dire qu'ils y ont déjà travaillé depuis un petit moment. Voilà, donc euh, il y a des chances que ce ne soit pas retardé et que tout reste comme prévu avec le planning annoncé. Euh, pourquoi je dis ça Parce que si on regarde... Ce qui s'est passé avec Tower of God, la station en partenariat entre Crunchyroll et Webtoon, bah, ils l'ont annoncé et le lancement n'a pas été retardé, contrairement à d'autres séries qui sont en train de souffrir quelques retards. Donc, il y a des chances que cela ne soit pas retardé pour la collaboration Burn the Witch et cela voudra également dire que la série devrait dropper euh, quelque peu avant le mois d'octobre, tout simplement. Et donc, à ce moment-là, on, ça de là nous laisse une fenêtre assez restreinte par rapport à la date potentielle de l'arrivée de cette collaboration dans Bleach Brave Source. Ce que l'on sait, c'est que en général, vers le mois de septembre ou quoi que ce soit, septembre, octobre, il y a un banquet live stream. Mais autre chose, c'est que de par l'expérience de l'année passée, Kelab nous a balancé les, les deux portails anniversaires et juste après, paf, ils nous ont balancé quoi Ils ont balancé un portail euh, exclusif avec des personnages du roman. Donc, il y a de très très fortes chances que cette année également, le, la fin de mois d'août, soit un, un portail exclusif. Et donc, potentiellement, cela pourrait être la bannière collaboration avec, euh, avec Burn the Witch. Et ce serait, d'un point de vue marketing, ce serait très intéressant pour Kela, puisque ça permet de lancer en grande pompe la série. La série est annoncée, paf 
Derrière, on a la collaboration dans le jeu, donc regardez la série, jouez au jeu, euh, Beach Break Source, vous aurez les personnages dans le jeu, etc. Donc, d'un point de vue marketing, tout cela s'enchaîne parfaitement. Voilà. Donc, tant qu'il n'y a pas eu d'annonce officielle par rapport à Burn the Witch, euh, par rapport à quand est-ce que la série va sortir, une date officielle de sortie, eh ben, on peut, on peut partir du principe que, ben, on n'aura pas encore cette bannière euh, collaboration dans le jeu, tout simplement, voilà. Et dès que l'annonce sera faite, eh ben, on peut s'attendre à ce que très prochainement après l'annonce, eh ben, la bannière tombe dans le jeu, voilà. Donc, c'est simplement une vidéo en fait pour discuter un petit peu de ce que nous réserve cette fin d'année, cette deuxième partie de l'année 2020 en termes de portail. Parce que oui, on a eu euh, ce portail qui arrive avec Byakuya Ichigo, mais, 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 mais il ne faut pas oublier que derrière, il va y avoir un sacré nombre de choses qui vont tomber aussi. Donc attention à vos orbes, ne dépensez pas tout et pensez smart parce que ça va tomber. Et quand ça va tomber, ça va faire mal. Parce qu'on se souvient de la dernière bannière Stern Reiter qui était absolument cheatée de, ses, de chez Cheaté, avec des personnages extraordinaires. Euh, non, très honnêtement, cette bannière était absolument incroyable, euh, de tout point de vue. Et donc, si nous refons le coup, euh, cette fois-ci, avec une bannière en second rang d'anniversaire, puisque c'est un moment hype pour Kelab et donc ils sont obligés de mettre le paquet, et eh ben, et eh ben, et eh ben, ça va pleurer dans les chaumières. Voilà. Donc, c'est voilà, le sujet de la vidéo. Si vous êtes nouveau sur la chaîne, n'oubliez pas de vous abonner, de lâcher un petit like. Et moi, je vous dis à plus dans la prochaine vidéo. Tchuss